going on, man? Hey, Johnny. What's up? Doing pretty good. How are you doing today? Pretty good. Hey, thanks for doing this. Of course, man. So, yeah. So, how you doing? So, I've been doing pretty well, man. Just having a kind of a lazy few past week or so. Uh, Ern has been out of town, so I haven't had much work. So, I've kind of just been enjoying a little time off. Oh, that's cool, cool, cool. Yes, so, it's yeah. that, uh, quiet before the storm starts, before, uh, you know, before football really gets going. You know, you saw Packers trading camp start yesterday, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's starting to get there, just enjoying the last, you know, last moments of the offseason. Yep. Um, I, <laughs> I did an interview with Tom uh, about, mm -hmm. like, a, two weeks ago, so, yeah. Yeah, I saw it on my feed. I watched a little bit of it. It was very cool. Okay. So, yeah, the first question is, how did you become a Packers fan? How did I become a Packers fan? So, um, funny story, I was actually a Bills fan first. Really? Um, I, was very, I was very young, yeah. So, my dad is a Cowboys fan, kind of like Tom's dad, also a Cowboys fan. A lot of Cowboys fan in that era. Right. But uh, he, he had, like, the Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowls from the 90s on, like, VHS. Okay. Um, you know, Bills versus Cowboys. And so my oldest brother was a Cowboys fan, too. He took after my dad. So it was, like, two Cowboys fans. And then I was – I didn't want to be a Cowboys fan. I felt, like, too forced. That just wasn't my – I didn't want to be like that. So I rooted for the Bills every time we watched the VHS, you know, the Super Bowl. So it okay. went from there. And I always I always hoped the Bills would win, but they never did. <laughs> they never did win. I mean, I didn't understand the concept that it was, uh, you know, Probably not a live game, kind of. Yeah, so, <laughs> of course. Maybe it would change eventually, but no, it, it never did. It never did. Uh, poor Bills fans. So that was like when I was like five or six, probably. I was like seven or eight uh, one day, and it was a Sunday night, and my mom took us to Walmart because she had some grocery shopping done for the week. Okay. You know, I tagged along because I was you know, just bored in the house, and you get all our stuff, get all the groceries, and that checkout aisle, you know, there's a bunch of football cards and like you know the impulse kind of section. So I, you know, I beg my mom. She doesn't always let me. Maybe it's like a 50-50. This time she said, yeah, we can get some, you know, get something. So I grabbed some football cards, the pack of football cards. And I think it even had Brett Favre on the cover of the cards. Because I remember him from uh, Quarterback Club 99 on N64. He was on the cover of that. So I recognized who it was, and I was kind of familiar with him. So I, I opened the pack, and the first one, I opened the pack when we got home. And the first one I opened was Brett Favre. And I was like, is he good? Is he good? I think he's good, right? And then uh, my dad was watching. Like, it was a Sunday night. And this Sunday, I can't remember what the game. I have to try to do some research or try to narrow it down. But it was like a Sunday night. And he was watching football. And he's like, Brett Favre is playing right now on TV. The Packers are on, you know, Sunday night football. So I remember going and started watching the game a little bit. I just, I, for, for the life of me, I don't remember who it was against. But um, okay. one of my earliest memories of watching football was like a, Peyton Manning versus Brett Favre, uh, Colts Packer game. Mm -hmm. um, and that one said it was like 2003, 2004. Um, okay. but they, they were like matching touchdowns for a bit, and the Colts kind of, the Colts won. And I was like, <laughs> okay. Good times is kind of anything like you're waiting for your childhood and just thinking back on it. And, and it then versus now, it's, it's always very special. Yeah, of course. How about you? How did you become a Packers fan? Uh, me, uh, f funny story. Uh, I, I was in high school and my brother was one great lord to me. Okay. And one Friday night, my brother brought his friend over and they were playing the Madden video game 99. Madden 99. Hey, do you want to come and play with us? So, I go, sure. I looked at the roster, and my favorite color is green. So I looked at the team, and behold, Green Bay Packers. With my yeah, name. green in the name, right? That kind of helps. Yeah, so I think it was destiny to be my <laughs> team. No, it's perfect. They're pretty good back then, too. You know, the, the Favre and the... Oh, yeah, the Favre. All the Freemans and... Yeah. 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 So, the old gang. Yeah, so many memories. Yeah, the, the good old days. 
<laughs> Those good old days are now too. You know, you can't. You can't uh, I hope. I hope. You gotta enjoy the the future. I mean, we'll see what happens with the love contract. I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna be the highest paid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of exciting. A little. A little nerve-wracking almost. It's like it's a lot of investment, you know, still yeah. in, in a young quarterback. Well, actually, actually, that was my next question to you. Do you think the Packers are going to make him the highest-paid quarterback in the league? Yeah, I mean, I think I think he was in – it was definitely, like, a debate, like, of whether or not he deserved it because, you know, uh, just kind of how the market always – it's always going up and with the cap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's increasing more and more than we think it even will. Um, when Trevor Lawrence get, got paid the highest, and I think it's pretty consensus wide that Jordan Love is kind of already more proven than Trevor Lawrence. Um, I don't want to take away what Trevor Lawrence has done. He's had some, yeah. you know, consistency issues. His comeback against the Chargers in the playoffs was remarkable. I don't want to take away from that, but I still think oh, yeah, yeah. Love, Love shows. I think he has a higher ceiling. Um, he has a better arm. So I think. I think if you're Jordan Love, you have to like, yeah, I, I'm better than him. Why shouldn't I? Get, why why should I get paid less than him? So I think yeah, of course, that's the match that you have, and these athletes are so competitive. And of course, your agent is he's also arguing for him. So like, he the more Love gets paid, the more the agent gets paid. So it's like every everyone's <laughs> arguing. Yeah, that's true. He's got a yeah, he's got a really. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they're, they're very close on the deal. I think that's that's what all the reporting has been. They're very very close. Um, and with you know training camp around, I can't imagine. Yeah. They want love, you know, in street clothes the whole time. So I think that they would get done for uh, before preseason games start rolling around. We'll, oh, we'll, yeah. Hope so. Hope so. Fingers crossed. Yeah, well, uh, me too. I'm hoping. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some of my subscribers wanted me to ask you how do you feel getting, getting recognized by people? Right, yeah, it's it's never happened to me like outside of uh, thirty or thirty at international stadium. Or if I was recognized on the street, you know, walking around, that would be very weird and different. Um, it still is a little weird. It's very humbling, and, and it, I don't ever want to gas myself up too much. But it's just it's it's just it goes to show how special this whole community is. Oh yeah, um, that the video editor is getting like me and Pastor uh, in, in Spain and Mexico, and you know, this past uh, last month. We would go in to try to set up for it. We were, you know, try to set up the shot, make sure the cameras has the right settings and everything like that, mm-hmm. just to give us a little time. And so, so we're not walking with Tom. Uh, it's it's cool to get the shot, like the initial walking shot with Tom, kind of get, kind of get, kind of try to get both. So, anyways, so we would go in and people would see me and like the the, the crowd would instantly kind of uh, invigorate and have so much energy already. I'm like, let's hold it for Tom, man. Tom's not here yet. So like, just like me and Pastor getting recognized is. is yeah, it was super cool. It just kind of goes to show, like I don't know, it, it's very cool to be just a small part of it, and also just how how special it is in the big picture, and how how much good we're doing for like the greater good for the kids, man. I guess it's oh yeah, it's really, yeah, uh, yeah. It's real humbling. And, like it definitely, uh, it's motivating also of like definitely people like uh, relying on you and expecting. It, it's just like raising your own expectations as well as as other people. Recognize you do hard work, and that's the, that's the standard you set. So you gotta keep grinding. Cool, cool. So yeah, you, you get recognized. Uh, you're you got you're pretty cool. Uh, got quite a few. Uh, how many subs do we got now? Over a thousand. Over. Uh, two thousand yet? Uh, I'm at sixteen hundred and thirty-six. Nice, nice. Well, nice. Wow. you're also part of the community too, man. I know. We love coming in and giving you raids and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you love that. You love your energy, man. It's great. Man, I I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. The next question is, uh, how was how was the trip? Did you like it? <laughs> it was a whirlwind, man. It was a lot. Like it was very similar to last uh, last month or well, not last year. Last year. Yeah. Last, last month was um, just. Being appreciative of being in the cities and being in these places you've never been, but like mm-hmm. the balance of you know just just appreciating the moment and then also staying focused on the task at hand and knowing that 
like for instance, uh, like Mexico and in, in, in London were were amazing, but like I still spent a whole day, uh, like eight hours in the hotel editing, you know, videos uh, to get out while we're on the road. Um, which is like I, I I'm not complaining about that at all. I, I'm very grateful to, to do that. It's just it's always a little. It just like makes the moment like that much more appreciative. Honestly, it's, like makes you like just going out to dinner is like it feels very like you're just grateful for that moment and like not have like just relaxing and like kind of taking in the sights and sounds or you know the the conversation happening next to you not like you're eavesdropping but just like observing the moment and kind of just appreciating like just the people and the the things around you that you're just just the present man just being uh just trying to be present and live in the moment yeah, yeah. i think i encourage just that and just also like the, the sights uh, like spain was probably my favorite place uh that we were yeah. Madrid was was beautiful uh, there's like a little downtown area and the way that the, the towns are, the cities are there, it's not as like modernized. They kind of almost take more pride in their history than we do. Okay. Um, so like they have buildings all over in our country. So it's, it's it's very cool that, you know, downtown Madrid where, you know, all the celebration was happening, like that, the palace, that's, yeah, that was built in like the 1600s. Like it's been around <laughs> for quite a while. Yeah. And it, took like 50, it took like 50 years to build, but it's like a magnificent building. And like, it's just very cool that, they're very connected to their heritage in a way that we're not always um, here in America, but it's yeah, of course, it's very cool. Just just appreciating all the different things about. Uh, okay. You know. Um. So yeah. So uh, did, did you like this trip better, or did you trip, did you like last year? <laughs> I liked. Um, I liked the traveling a little bit last year because it wasn't as long of flights. Uh, there's so many pros and cons of both. I mean, it was nice to have multiple days in uh, you know, countries and cities, even though it was only like three days. Uh, it's still a lot more time than like some some cities we were in for literally like eight hours, and then we were on to the next one. Um, I think last year, uh, last year was definitely a very special time. I think nothing will ever really compare almost to just how new and like special because we kind of we went in not knowing how it would turn out, and, and you know. It resulted in Tom being voted fan of the year for the NFL, and that's oh, yeah. <laughs> for that alone is like you know from first day of like not knowing how many people would be there to like on the NFL honor stage on national TV, Tom is, and so that's 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 like a I don't want to say like a story of a lifetime, but it's a, it's definitely like it's always going to have a very special place in my heart. This is hard to compete with, so I don't want to just just say it was better because I'm very grateful for. Uh, being able to go this second time around as well. But uh, yeah, there's definitely very special things about both. I mean, that was cool last year, but nothing will compare this year to just, mm -hmm. uh, I want to say it was more passion, but it kind of was just because how, how committed these fans are overseas and just hearing their stories and, and you know, watching a sport in a second language that is, you know, eight hours away or it's 2 a.m., you know, in Germany. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 3 a.m. in Germany when the games start, and you're up for four hours, and then 6 a.m. rolls around, 7 a.m. rolls around. Maybe you have like a 30 minute nap before you get up and go to work. <laughs> you wouldn't even risk that. Um, but no, it's, it's just seeing that in person, and it was like seeing the excitement that just like an NFL YouTuber is like giving them, you know, a couple of days of just like recognizing their passion. They're like so grateful for like the, the recognition and just like being acknowledged, just like. Being acknowledged that they are a big, like that their their fandom is very real and like almost more intense than ours in America at times. I think they're just putting a, they're very grateful for the spotlight. So that was very cool just meeting uh, all the various people in Germany and Mexico and London and Brazil and Spain and Spain. Like they haven't even had a game there yet, so they it takes a special kind of like fandom for them. Like it's. All you know, 2025 is when they come to Spain, so like they're already excited for that, and that's like a year and a half away almost. So, like, it's it's very like that's very different, and that's more special in a way than last year. Okay. Yeah, the opportunity this year was very, I think it was more rare, and I, I don't want to take it for granted because of how special last year was. This year is very, very, uh, well, well th that was my next question. Which fan base was more passionate, the us or the overseas? Um, 
No, I would have to go to a game overseas to really tell the difference. You know, I, I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to like bash anyone, honestly. Um, yeah. Brazil, like Brazil is crazy, and, and Germany was crazy. I think Germany had our largest fan of it in Frankfurt. Um, yeah, it was. I, I can't really compare. I mean, I kind of already compared them. Like, it's, just, it's just a different type of fandom. It's almost more casual here. Where mm. like, every day, like you live, you breathe football. Like, of course, like you like football. Of course, you watch football. Oh yeah. So, like over there, it's like you don't have may, not have as many friends to watch football. Mm. So you might even have to isolate yourself to watch the you know the thing you like. And it's like a for them, it's almost like an obscure TV show. At times, like you know, in the Spain or the Brazil's um, or Mexico's, but like. It's it's very cool when they can all get together and kind of meet each other. That was very cool. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, um, do you think that you and Tom might ever do a tour of Asia? Oh, with Asia? Oh, that would be very cool. Um, yeah. I can't say. I don't think we've ever uh, talked about that. Um, but that would be uh, that'd be a crazy one. I know uh, <laughs> we were talking about Australia and how logistically that would work with like a twenty wow, some hour wow. flight. It'd be almost uh, maybe probably a, a little bit less than that for, for like Asia and China. That'd be be quite the trip. I've always wanted to go to like Japan and, uh, and China and yeah, yeah, visit that though. It'd be very cool. Korea. Yeah, I, I'm I'm from South Korea. Right, right, right. And over there, football wasn't that big until uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers won the Super Bowl with. Right. With Heinz Ward. Right, yeah, 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 Heinz Ward. Yeah, he was half Korean. So that's when they got into big time football. And then um, the other day I was reading that Team USA played Team Japan in football. And oh, yeah. Japan beat the Brits off the US team. <laughs> Yeah, we're not very good at like. Uh, I mean, even the the NBA team, they they barely escape with like going to like <laughs> yeah, a, a sedan or something like that. Um, yeah, not quite great. Well, we're. I guess that's the the downside of a star. When you make it all about the stars, it's almost less about the fundamentals. Yeah. But we yeah, don't even have the stars playing for uh, our five football team. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we got to catch up in that. We can't. We can't get embarrassed like that. No, we can't. We. Can't. I mean, the Americans invest in football, and we're losing that back to Asian countries. Come on. You got to gotta get someone to teach the lesson. Get yeah. a real coach in there, right? <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, how did you, how did you uh, start w- working with Tom? Yeah, so it was a um, – I was familiar with his content for uh, quite a couple of years uh, at that point. Uh, I started yeah. working with him in December 2021 is when I actually first met him, I believe. Um, okay. It was a random Sunday night game that he was streaming. And I just like to uh, you know, watch the primetime games and kind of watch them with someone, you know, if it's like a Thursday night or a Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Um, or Monday. I mean, any guys need primetime games, technically, I can help work night. Uh, uh, morning. But like, uh, so we were doing. He was doing the raids at halftime, and he got some really good reactions. And it was just like, man, that's always just a fun time. So I would just see everyone's face light up, and just see just the positivity and it just kind of spreading. It just it creates something special, and you know, and, and it gives you a good feeling back. Also, just you know, oh, yeah. um, seeing the other people. So um, he had mentioned on stream, was like, hey, I want I want to make a video of like clipping all those together with the reactions of all the the raids at halftime. And if there's anyone that can do it, yeah, just feel free to hit me up. That'd be cool. And so I was like, oh, I can do that. That'd be fun to do, um, even if it's just like a one-off little thing. So I just DM'd on Twitter, and he like instantly responded. I was like, yeah, that sounds great. So I started working on it, and I got put it together either the next day or that night or overnight or something. Um, and he was really happy with it. It turned out really well. It was really cool. You can, I can go find it somewhere. Um, and so... I don't think you were in it. I think the second one I did, you were in. That's yeah, I yeah, I think I was in the second one. So, um, he did that, and then um, over time, he had a video with Kurt Binker. He was filming that oh, March, yeah. so this was like fast forward three months. And he, he called me up one day. I was at work. 
Uh, and he was like, hey, uh, I got something to explain, ask you. It'd be better to like, you know, call him phone. So it was kind of cool to talk to him on the for the first time. He was like a somewhat of a fan, I guess. But I had worked in media before, so it wasn't like, I'm not like fanboy. Like um, mm-hmm. I worked in television for seven years prior. Uh, so he, he was like, hey, you want to edit this video I shot with Kurt Benkert? Or I think he, I'm about to shoot with Kurt Benkert. And he's like, yeah, he kind of, we're kind of going back and forth to what the video would kind of be about. And, just it. and I was mm-hmm. super excited, man. This is, this is so cool that like part of like, you know, your hobbies come to reality when you're, when you get yeah. that out. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. So, so we did that and that turned out pretty good. It didn't do like as, as great number wise as he hoped it would, but, um, but it was still, like, he was really happy with the video. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, just like more and more time, I guess he had more and more stuff for me. And meanwhile, I was working at my television job. I just got promoted to like a manager role. Um, wow. Yeah, so I mean, just got handed another. I managed on my my job. I was currently doing, you know, the only I, I made videos. I made, excuse me, I edited, I shot, edited commercials for like local businesses. Oh, TV, really? And they would sell them. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And they would sell them, you know, to run on TV. Uh, they, they had me doing so much stuff. I was like one of the only. It was like two people working in that department, and, and I had to do all the station stuff as well for you know, our own talent. Um, so it was like overwhelming, and then I got a manager role. Up to mm-hmm. that. It kind of helped. It was supposed to help, you know, take away, you know, some of the. We could hire a new person and get more help. Yeah, everyone. And I ended up just hiring somebody. It just it stressed me out too much, just being kind of in charge of stuff. And they had me doing like just way too much for my for my own sanity and workload. And I was just incred- incredibly stressed. I remember telling Tom one day, I was like, I think I want to quit and just kind of pursue. You know, YouTube, uh, you know, editing for YouTube videos and stuff like that. If you need help, you know, if you know, I can you know, try to find something else. And he was like, yeah, actually, funny enough, I was just talking to Perna, and Perna is looking for a new video editor. So that was kind of serendipitous and kind of worked out perfectly for both me and Perna. Um, so, you know, Perna got in contact with me also, and then started talking. He, he wanted someone to do, like, his balls deep videos, his uh, deep dives. Of all deep yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started with, like, Antonio Brown was the first one I did for him. Uh, and he was pretty happy with it, and it was it was definitely a new thing for me because I I did you know fifteen thirty second commercials and then yeah. changing that to fifteen thirty minute videos you know deep type <laughs> also a new challenge and I, I really liked that and, and you know got really uh, quickly acclimated to it honestly and it was just okay. really good. for a couple months I was editing video I think it was about a month or two I was editing videos and working my job at the same time but it just five days a week and then. All weekend, I would edit a video for Perna or Tom or whatever, and then mm-hmm. back to work. So it was um, eventually I was able to quit my job and you know support myself uh, fully through YouTube. Thankfully, um, so blessed to be able to do that. Still, um, so yeah, it was it's been a moment, but it's been so cool just kind of developing friendships with, with both Brandon and Tom, and just um, as good as good guys as they are on uh, on air or on camera, um, man, just just as Hearing and double as kind um, off camera, and I'm and I'm so I'm so grateful um, to be able to do it for a living, especially for as, as good humans as them. And they really are inspiring um, to me to be better human myself and to keep working hard. They they never you know they work as hard like, as hard as they would ever demand me to. Like they don't, especially Tom. And, I, I want to say especially Tom. Kern just like spending time with his family, which is very wonderful. You know, he's not bad. <laughs> he has a little more responsibility there. Um, yeah, but no, yeah, they, yeah. They're both work incredibly hard, and so it's never like a uh, you work so we don't have to. It's like uh, it's you work so I can do more attitude. Yeah, of course. Which, is, yeah, yeah. which pays off. I mean, you see them both. Um, oh, basically yeah. double their, they both doubled their subscribers basically since I started working for both of them. Yeah, yeah, they did. It's been cool just to just to play a very small role in that. It's been very humbling and very. No, I, I think you played a big role. role. I think you played a big role. I appreciate it, man. I mean, there's a lot of editors out there. They, they could always find someone else. I try to always find myself. Yeah, but always keep keep getting better and improving your own your own craft. Right, right. Can't get too uh, can't get right. too happy with your own. Uh, can't uh, get too satisfied. I, you're keep, uh, you're, you're, you're a cool, cool guy, man. You, you, I appreciate that, man. So, yeah. You're very nice. Pretty cool yourself, dude. Oh, What's thank up? you, thank you. So, uh, how, 
I know Tom took you to Las Vegas for the Super Bowl. How, yeah. How, how was that? <laughs> Man, Vegas was crazy. Everything was so expensive out there uh, just because we were downtown. Um, yeah. And kind of just how the prices were. I, apparently, it's not as expensive. You kind of don't. If you stay off the strip, it's not as bad. Uh, yeah. But everything, they were like, the NFL had our hotel on the strip. Like, we had two separate hotels. They were both on the strip. So we just moved from one to the other. Um, really? But, man, that was – that was a great time. Honestly, that was a um, – it was like a whole week of celebration. Honestly, that's how I kind of treated it. But also, mm-hmm. we, we still made some content out of it. Made a, made some cool videos. And I think it was, it was just one vlog or two we did do. Um, yeah, that was a ton of fun, man. That was, again, it was just – it's just humbling to be kind of a part of this whole movement. Um, <laughs> I mean, you're so lucky. I'm created. <laughs> I wish I would have. It was uh, and it was so cool just seeing um on me in Radio Road, just seeing all man, so many people that you recognize from you know, TV um, or the actual game itself. Like I kept running into Baker Mayfield. I kept seeing Baker. Mayfield. <laughs> I, I never got to talk to him, but I kept seeing him. Um, yeah, and just like just the small like all the media was super cool. Just kind of the the layers of. Uh, you know, you got everywhere from small creators to you know the biggest show, Pat McAfee yeah. doing the show where live and everything in between, oh, yeah. all the all the radio stations, you know, local local stations in between. And so it's very cool, just kind of be like that's where everything was happening. You know, that, the whole week, every, everything you would watch online was like, and, and still today when I'm ending videos and try to you know pull footage from from you know like a combine or something or what have you or like a random podcast interview and it, it might be from the super bowl it's like I, I was there i could be walking in the background like right over there yeah. so that's very cool i think i kept i kept uh popping up on nfl network a couple times because like we were we'd meet up like a corner that was like easy for us all fine but it was like in the background of where the uh nfl it was espn or nfl network i think it was i mean both where they were both uh shooting like stand up <laughs> with like me and rapaport so i was <laughs> in the background there yeah. Cat, come on again, rap pork. <laughs> it was a great time. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Yeah, like I guess it, again, it's like it's very humbling to kind of yeah. to be there and to to. It, it's it, yeah, it's inspiring. It makes you want to work harder. So. I, I, yeah, I just want to thank thank you again for this. You, you, I mean, you, you didn't have to do it, but you took your time to do this. Oh, well, of course, Jay. It's it's been great to talk to you, man. It's always I've always wanted to do, wanted to uh, invite you on my podcast as well. Uh, I know um, I've been very inconsistent with my own content, but <laughs> sometimes when you put other people's stuff first, it's kind of that's, that's the important thing. Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. So um, the last question is: Is there anything you're gonna you're gonna do in the future? Uh, I'm looking forward to. We're going to go up to training camp uh, for the Ravens Packers preseason game. Really looking forward to that. Hopefully, we'll see uh, Love will get his extension by then, and I uh, can see him throw a couple uh, big skins around in practice. And uh, okay. it's going to be a great time. We we uh, treat that like a vacation. This is my second year going with Tom, um, actually. And, uh, oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I was super excited. It's going to be a great time. Kind of just, it's like a pre celebration for the season, like a end of off season, almost. Um, School vacation, so excited to hang out with all the Green Bay crew that we got Tyler and Monty and Danny and Jimmy, all the all the gang. Yeah, man, that's cool. Yeah, man, it's gonna be exciting. All right, thank you. Yeah, one more buddy, one more friend that wants to say hi. Yes, he he's told me talking to someone. What's going on? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. All right, thank you so much today for having me on. I appreciate it. Oh, no, no, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Absolutely, man. I'm glad I did this to some time. Yeah, we we definitely have to. All right. You enjoy your Tuesday, man. I appreciate it. You too. Thank you. Take it easy, man. You too. And that was the interview with Johnny Barks, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like I always say, stay safe, stay positive, and always go pack go. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, you have a great one. Bye bye. Late.
and peace.